and welcome back to Quick Tips. This time we're gonna talk about something pretty quick and easy that's really helpful if you're working across different markets. So I'm gonna go up here in Adobe Express to the big purple plus button, and I'm going to go to a one by one square for Instagram. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a simple template here and pretend that I need to work with an international market. So I'm gonna type in coffee, hit return, and then I'm going to choose a template to work from. I like this template here, so I'm going to select it. And it will bring up the template, and if I wanted to, I could go ahead and change up this template to make it more unique and make it my own. But for today, I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm gonna come up here to translate. And when I select translate, it gives me the option to detect what language it's in, then I can choose what language I wanna to translate to, and then I'm gonna duplicate and translate. And if I wanted to, I could translate it to multiple different languages, but for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna select Japanese, and then select duplicate and translate. So by selecting duplicate and translate, it's not only creating that translation, it's creating a second copy so I don't lose my original. Up here in the top right corner, we can see there's a number two and that gives us all of our pages. So we can see the English version and the Japanese version. Now, as we're working on this and changing languages, we wanna be sure that we go in and think about what happens to the design as the language changes. One of the reasons I chose Japanese is because I knew the characters would be drastically different. So we can see here that our spacing is a little off. So I can go into the piece, double click on what I wanna change, cause this is a group, move it over. Maybe I wanna line it up with the side of that photo. Down here we have coffee or kohi, and I wanna move that down to line up here. And then I'm gonna come over, line this up with the bottom. And again, just make some little tweaks to my piece to make it make visual sense. Now, one weakness of this is noticeable down here in your website, kohisomething.com. And so what I want to do is I wanna be sure that I change that back to the original. So let's go back to the original and we can see coffeesensesite.com. I can select that. I'm just gonna do a copy paste, control C or command C if you're on a Mac. Go back over here, select it and control V or command V if you're on a Mac and paste it back to English because that translation doesn't make sense. So if you have specific words that don't need to be translated, be sure to double check them. Also with this tool, it's always handy to have some around who can check your translation for you and make sure that it's accurate. When you're finished with your piece, you can download the file or share the file and remember, this is all saving automatically into the cloud, so you can have it to work on more later. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick tip.